of North London, gotta represent, and I'ma tell you one thing. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. All right, gang, gang, what it do? Love to my gooners, goonerettes, and gooner babies. Not forgetting my gooner elders. All right. Let me adjust this light real quick. That's a bit bright, boy. There you go. There you go. There you go. You under dig me? There you go. All right. Just get one more thing on the screen. And we can jump into this article right here. You know what I mean? Let's set Ian up in the place. Ian Wright names player who has taken Arsenal to another level after PSG win. You know, under dig me? I don't know if you just saw the name just there, but if you didn't, hit me in the comments. Let me know who you think it is right now in this video, right now, right here. Hold up. Go. Go type that in. Who do you think it is that he's talking about? Who could it be? Who could it be? I have no idea. My mind's fried right now, so I'm just going to go and read the, read this thing. So let's get into this. Ian Wright has held Arsenal summer signing Cali Calafiori, for the ones who don't know, for taking the Gunners to another level after he impressed in the Champions League win over Paris Saint-Germain, a.k.a. PSG. Arsenal have made a statement of intent to their European rivals on Tuesday night with an impressive and relatively stress-free 2-0 win over the French champions, PSG. Kai Havertz opened the scoring with a 20-minute header before Saka's free kick put the host in control before the half-time. Arsenal's strong defence kept the visitors at bay after the break as Ma Mikel Arteta's side picked up their first Champions League win following last week's opening draw with Atlanta. Wright's impressed <clears throat> That's Ian, right? Wright's impressed with Arsenal's performance at the Emirates Stadium and singled out the summer edition of Mr. Califiori for praise after the match. The Arsenal, le the Arsenal legend admits he has been surprised by the level of Cali's performance since he completed his 42 million move from Serie side um, Bologna. Um, over the summer, Wright also said that Kelly had taken um, Arsenal to another level and given Martinelli a new lease of life off the left-hand side. He is very good, he said to Ian Wright's house podcast when asked about Califuri, um, who featured for Italy at the Euros 2024. I always thought that the left side was probably, was probably, was what? wasn't properly activated even when we tried using Zinchenko or Kivio it hasn't really worked even playing with Timber there hasn't worked with Flory. the way that he activates Martinelli his whole different kettle of fish now he's a whole level of, of kettle of fish now Martinelli knows he can go because Flory is back there when Sins came to Arsenal we saw a massive difference in the team's prog um, progress in the ball and controlling the game but now it seems that it is ramped up to another level with what California is capable of doing. I didn't know he had that much in his armory. We hear a lot about players not adapting to the league or that the team or the team not adapting to the league or the team, but he is plugged. But he is plugged and play. But he is plug and play. See, I just realized what he's trying to say. He is plug and play. He's got it instantly. There is no way we thought we were getting this much of a player. No way. Arsenal boss Arteta, meanwhile, insisted he's really, 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 really happy with his team's performance against PSG and singled out Havertz for praise. So there you go. So Ian picked out Cali. And the boss man is picking out Havertz. Really, really happy with the performance. He said to Amazon Prime, we've played an opponent that has a lot of personality. It is really difficult to deal with when you don't have the ball. The first half the first half was very dominant and we created a lot of chances. And then the second half was a different story. We suffered much more than we should have done. The Champions League brings different, different demands, but I think we handled it really well. On Havertz, Arteta added, he has been unbelievable. His, his foot football brain the way that he understands space his timing he brings people together listen the timing of that run like that the header the reason why the header is all is so beautiful is because the timing of the run you'd think he was like level with the defender the whole time the brother was this for, this is Havertz let me make, make sure I get this right on camera this is Havertz this is the defender the ball is coming from over there sir you get me trust our dummies one Havertz is still here. Then he opens out to do another and then Havertz just makes his way, blood. And there's the, the ball gets kicked like 
Havertz is halfway. So he's like, there, ball is now making its way. And then it's just, oh, get me. That's it. He like, he jumps where the defender is, right there, level with him, jump. And then, boop, keeper's coming out. You know what I mean? Them ones there. I mean, that, you should be getting fined for that. You're a goalkeeper, blood. Look at the ball, blood. What's this? But bang, he just let it hit his head there. Boop. And it, I, I was like, if that don't go in, blood, that's a crime. It was the cross, everything. The goal was beautiful, blood. It's beautiful. I'm telling you that now. I don't care what no one say. Anyway, Teta goes on to say <clears throat> his work ethic is incredible and now he is a real threat around the box. He is one of our main players at the moment. Arsenal returned to the Premier League action this Saturday against Windless Southampton. The Gunners are currently third, one point behind the leaders Liverpool. Are currently third, one point behind leaders Liverpool as they look to win the title for the first time since 2004. It's been 20 years, boy. Damn. That hurts. hurts. Luckily, we can rest our loyals on the FA Cup as fans, not as a club, as fans. Can't say we ain't won nothing since, you know, the big me. But yes, we do take on Southampton. And God damn it, we better... We be Sorry, Rambo. Sorry, Rambo, but I need to. we need to embarrass you. Five, six. Five, six. I'm being extra as hell. I'm being extra as hell. We don't need to win five, six. Five, six just helps smash them man out the way, add the goals to the tally, and then we can come back and talk to the haters. That's that's what the five and six does. But I'll take four. Get me. Rambo got a hold something, bruv. Got a hold something. And it's not because of him leaving. And blah, blah, blah. He just got a hold something because we made a decision. You can't. We can't embarrass ourselves. And we owe Southampton something. You see what I'm saying? And we owe Southampton something, which is crazy because now Rambo plays for them. It's all up in the air, blood. Man, it's, it's, when I say it's up in the air, I mean, oh, it's 50-50. We should be smashing the back door off these, man. No long thing. 5-0. My prediction is going to be up there. Trust me. You're going to think I'm insane. And I might even have to put a cheeky bet on it. I'll tell you that now. Tell you that now. But my peoples, i love to hear what you got to say on this article right here. So Ian has made it known after the PSG game. He's calling out Cali for praise. While the other side, boss man, is calling out Kai Kai, King Kai Kai. You get me? I like those two options. And I'll put it to you. Who do you think shone the most in that game? If I'm honest, if we're talking about the whole game, I'm going to say Kelly shone the most. But from, I can't remember what game it was. I can't remember what game it was, but there was a game the first time we ever played Jorginho and Havertz together. In the, not the first time because I had to see it first. So it'll be like the second time. I was nervous. Jorginho fixed up since then and Havertz has fixed up since then. I can't say nothing, blood. I can't say nothing. You hear me? I want Kai Guy to score again on Saturday. And yes, I want him to level with the king because he's not going to be nowhere near the king when we're putting player versus player, right? That's just never going to happen. But when it comes to stats and facts, he can have seven and the King's got seven. Forget me for my opening league. You know what I'm saying? And really and truly, them things there, it's not ah oh, that it's not nothing that you can you can't banter with those with those stats. That's for the individual to be able to say, yo, you know what I mean? Like man like Vardy, he can't sit with Henri Aguero and them man there. He can't sit with them man there. He can't sit with them man there. But Imagine if it was like if it was a wedding, so you got the tables, right? Top table it is the goats are strikers. And then you got everyone else as you make it, and you know, no one wants to be at the back door near the toilets. I'm not saying Vardy's there. Vardy will be like in the middle and you can stand up quick next speech. Yo, yo, I got the same amount of goals as you when opening season. He can say that, but then man can start lifting up trophies. I know that Vardy's got the Premier League, so he can say something, he can argue, you know what I mean? You have a little argument, but then it's going to get embarrassing because then I'm going to start lifting World Cups and, and then, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, chill. You know what I mean? Relax yourself. Levels to the game. But Vardy, Vardy can talk talk mess to Shearer. 
That's what people ain't realizing. Vardy could talk mess to Shearer. You on the dig? What? You got one, I got one. I, I get messy, you get messy, although Shearer's got more goals, clearly. But you know what I mean? It gets sticky around here, blood. Didn't didn't Leicester win the, the championship? So I think Vardy's got more titles. Anyway, is what it is, people. Let me know what you're saying, though. Cali or Havertz or you got someone else in mind. You know what I mean? Me? I'm just proud of my whole team right now, blood. It's our turn. That's all I can think of. So we suffered. We've suffered and I'm old enough to... Oh, my God. You know, I, I so appreciate being born in 83. I'm so happy I was born in 83. And you know what's, what's crazy about that? I keep seeing different things. Between 83 and like 85, Tottenham was doing stuff, you know. I don't know if they were winning too much, but they were busy. Everton were busy. But that's, you know, I'm baby. Two, three, four. None of that matters. I don't know what that is. 80s, boy. I got in... Boring, boring Arsenal. That's when I got in, blood. No one liked us then. This is like a repeat. It's a feel. And that's what I said to people. Go watch 89. Go watch the documentary. Listen. Listen. Listen to what the players are saying. Listen to what the, the voiceover is saying. This is the same thing I go on. When Teta came in, he did the same thing George did. You lot ain't hearing me. He ain't hearing me. He did the same thing George did. It's just with a little bit of flavor, a little bit of Spanish flavor. Get me? But same thing. Come in, try and work with these men. All right, cool. We'll win. It might win something quick. Then you man getting bright. Man get rid of these dons. You get me? We ain't have no waste, man, really. It's all mindset. You get me? Ozil. Adiboy, you're all that. It's all mindset. George did the same thing. George did the same thing. Go check the records, blood. Bad man, George let go. So he could bring in the babies. You get me? Like Merson. He could bring in Parla. You know what I'm saying? He already had Adams there. You get me? Adams was playing since 83. Since I was born, he's been at Arsenal, blood. One man. You get me? It's just levels to this thing, bro. But that's why it's our turn. That's all I'm saying. It's our turn. It's our turn. It's looking like the next five years is, is, is our turn. Not saying domination. You get me? City's had their turn. I'm not saying it's going to be our turn for that. I'm saying it's our turn to be top dogs. Top dogs. You might win one. You might win two. Not win one. Win the one after that where you win double, double cups and all them kind of thing there. You, you dominating. You get me? It's our turn, blood. It's our turn. Get to know people. Get to know. All right. That's the end of that. Let me know in the comments what you're saying, people. Yeah. Stay God. Stay blessed. And I'll see you on the next one. Gooner on the sofa. The pride of North London. Gooner on the sofa. The pride of North London. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.